हाई एवरी वन आई एम सृष्टि एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल योग रीति टूडे विल बी डूइंग अ थर्टी मिनट सीक्वेंस टू हेल्प यू लूज वेट एंड गेन स्ट्रेंथ सो आई एम श्योर यू गन लव इट सो लेट्स ब्रिंग अ मैट एंड कम टू अ कम्फर्टेबल सीटेड पॉस्चर जेंटली ब्रिंग बोथ ऑफ यू पाम्स राइट ऑन टॉप ऑफ यू नीस पाम फेसिंग अपर्ड्स एंड क्लोज योर आईज Prepare yourself for a very challenging and powerful yoga flow. Take some deep breaths here. And now, slowly open your eyes to come to child's pose. So bring both of your toes together, knees apart, and start walking your hands forward and let your head rest on the ground. Take some deep breaths here. Now gently start walking your hands backward, and slowly we'll come to downward facing dog. So curl your toes, start lifting your hips upwards. Create a long spine, and breathe. Take some deep breaths here. Your belly is tucked in. Your core engaged, and you're breathing through your chest. So we'll start by working on our core. So inhale, lift your right leg, and exhale to tap your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale again. Come to one leg downward facing dog. and exhale to tap it to your head inhale lift your leg upwards and exhale to tap it to your left elbow once again inhale to lift your leg up to one leg downward facing dog and exhale to bring your right knee right in front of the mat just in between your palms and we'll come to warrior 1 so your right knee will be bent at a 90 degree angle your left feet at a 45 degree angle your hips squared facing toward the front and place both of your hands on top of your waist and if you feel comfortable here slowly raise both of your hands upwards gazing either towards the front or towards your thumb and slowly we'll come to warrior 2 so opening both of your arms Bring it parallel to the longer edge of the mat at your shoulder level and you'll feel the hip opening a little bit more in this pose. Breathe here, gazing towards the middle finger of your right hand. Continue to breathe here. And now slowly drop your right hand to the inside of the right knee just next to your feet and extend your left arm upwards towards the ceiling. coming to side angle pose and breathe here do not dump all your weight on your right hand and make sure you're not curling your body towards the inside but your chest is open here and your core is engaged now slowly bring both of your hands downward and come to a plank pose do not let your hip drop here or raise it too high create a long straight spine take one more breath here and exhale to come to chaturanga inhale to upward facing dog and exhale to downward facing dog now we'll do the same on the other side so inhale lift your left leg and exhale to tap it to your left knee Inhale to one leg downward facing dog and exhale to tap it to your head. Inhale again lift your left leg and exhale to tap to your right knee. Inhale once again lift your left leg and exhale to bring your left leg to the front of the mat right in between both of your palms. And now slowly we'll come to 
warrior one so your left knee is bent at a 90 degree angle and your right feet at a 45 degree angle your hips square toward the front of the mat and now slowly lift both of your hands upwards gazing either towards the front or to the top right in between your thumbs take a breath here Make sure your left leg is bent at a near 90 degree angle and your right leg is straight. Your weight should be equally distributed in both of the legs. Now start opening both of your arms and bring them in line at the level of your shoulder. And you are in your warrior two. So your gaze should be to the middle finger of your left hand and breathe here. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Now slowly start bringing your left hand towards the ground to the inside of the left leg right next to your feet. And now extend your right hand upwards towards the ceiling. Keep your core engaged, pelvic engaged and your breathing here. Take one more breath. And now slowly bring your palm to the floor and come to a plank pose. With the straight spine, take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Take one more inhale here and exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, release your toes and come to Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, curl the toes to come to Downward Facing Dog. Take a breath here. And we'll repeat the same cycle two more times on each side. And this time, we'll be doing it with one breath each movement. So inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale to tap it to the right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap it to your head. Inhale. And exhale to tap it to your left elbow. Inhale, lift your right leg once again. And exhale to bring your right feet right in between your palms. And we'll come to warrior one. Inhale here. And exhale to open your arms to warrior two. Inhale, slowly bring your right hand next to your feet and exhale to come to a plank. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale to downward facing dog. We'll do it on the left side. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale to tap it to your left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap it to your head. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap it to your right elbow. Inhale, lift once again. And exhale to bring your left feet right in between your palm. And we'll come to warrior one. Inhale, lift your body up. And exhale to warrior two. Inhale to side angle. And exhale. Exhale to bring both of your hands down and we'll come to plank. Take an inhale here and exhale to chaturanga. Inhale upward facing dog and exhale to downward facing dog. One more time here. Inhale lift your right leg. Exhale to tap it to your right elbow. Inhale lift. Exhale tap to your head. Inhale lift. And exhale to tap it to your left elbow. Inhale, lift once again and exhale to come to warrior one. Inhale and exhale to warrior two. Inhale, side angle and exhale to plank. Inhale here, exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do it one last time to the left side. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, tap.
tap to your left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap it to your head. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap it to your right elbow. Inhale, lift once again and bring your left leg right to the front of the mat in between both of your hands and inhale to come up to warrior one. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale side angle pose and exhale to plank. Take an inhale here and exhale to chaturanga. Inhale upward facing dog and exhale to downward facing dog. Take a breath here. I know this is challenging and slowly we'll come to child pose. Bring both of your toes together, knees apart and let your head rest on the ground. We'll take five deep breaths here. Let your body take a small rest and prepare ourselves for the next variation. Slowly lift your body up and bring both of your feet hip width distance apart and very slowly and mindfully we'll come standing onto our mat. Our feet hip width distance apart and slowly start dropping your hip downwards hooking the armpit as low as possible towards the chin. Try to keep your spine straight and look straight ahead. We'll stay here for some breaths so relax. Just three more deep breaths. Malasana works amazingly on your hips, ankles and knees and also gives your inner organs a good massage. So stay in this posture and breathe. And prepare yourself for through the Utkatasana. So from Malasana, keeping the feet firm, slowly start raising your hip up to your knee level. Hook your armpit as low as possible and breathe. Keep your core engaged and we'll stay here for some moment. So continue to breathe here. Now make sure here that your hip is not lying too low or not raised too high. So your hip should be just parallel to the ground. And we'll take some breath here. And by now you must be feeling the vibration in the complete body. Your body shaking. But we'll stay here for just two more breaths. So inhale. Don't let your hip fall down. And exhale. One last inhale. And exhale to come to Malasana. This sequence was introduced to me by my yoga guru Bharat sir. And I still remember how challenged I used to feel. So after the Dhruta Utkatasana, I'm sure the Malasana must be a relief. So we'll stay here. Take some more breath. And we'll prepare ourselves for the second route of Dhruta Utkatasana. So enjoy the pose while you can. And slowly start lifting your hips again. And bring it parallel to the ground. Your feet should be firm. And your armpit as low as possible. And we'll breathe here. Feel the core burning. And again we'll drop our hip back to Malasana. So you can choose to stay here in Malasana. But if you're ready, we can take crow pose. So bring both of your hands a little ahead of your feet on the ground. Bend elbow, hook both of your knees to your biceps as high as possible 
and slowly start shifting your weight towards the front of the body and lift both of your toes slowly one at a time make sure your core is engaged here and you're in your crow pose so the crow pose is not about the arm strength as much as it is about the core strength so if you have a good core engagement i'm sure you must be flying here so enjoy the pose take one last breath here and slowly with control drop both of your toes back to the ground and take a rest here now slowly we'll take ragdoll pose so lift your body up and stand on to the mat feet hip width distance apart now raise your hand and hold both of the elbows with the other hand inhale stretch the spine straight and exhale start folding downwards with the bent knee keep the spine straight here and breathe release both of your arms downwards and start walking your palms forward to come to downward facing dog and we'll take a flow here so inhale to come to plank exhale to chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and exhale to downward facing dog keep your spine straight here breathe and now slowly again walk your hands backward and we'll prepare ourselves for chair pose bring both of your feet together engage your pelvic keep your spine straight and now gently raise both of your arms upwards your palm touching each other they can inhale here and exhale start pushing your hip backwards spine straight and we'll come to chair pose make sure your knees are not too ahead of your toes and you're not putting your weight completely on your toes weight should be equally distributed over your feet maybe more so towards your heels so breathe here spine straight looking straight in front of you core engaged and you're breathing through your chest feel the body vibrating with each exhale enjoy the pose and if you feel comfortable here you can start gazing towards your thumbs take few more breath here and now slowly start dismounting so straighten the spine once again and slowly straighten the legs and release your arms Now start walking to the center of the mat and we'll take standing pigeon pose. So start shifting your weight on your left side. Slowly raise your right leg and place your right ankle right on top of your left thigh just above the knee. And start shifting your weight towards your hip. Almost like you're sitting in a chair pose. Now join both of your palms. and bring it to your chest and take a deep breath here and now exhale slowly release your right feet and we'll come to warrior 3 now warrior 3 is again a balancing pose so with an engaged core and a deep focus slowly start bringing your back parallel to the ground and shift your leg backwards in a straight line with your chest and your spine both of your hands are still right next to your chest and your gaze downwards take a breath here now slowly start lifting your body up bringing your body straight start bending your right leg bringing it towards the front 
without letting it drop on the ground. Now bring both of your palm right next to your right knee to your shin and try to pull your thighs inwards towards the chest. Looking straight ahead, try to maintain a balance. And if it is not easy to maintain a balance for you today, it's completely fine. Respect your body and appreciate the work. Now slowly release your leg and come to a standing pose. And we'll do the same on the other side. So again, bring both of your hands to your waist. Now gently lift your left leg, shifting your weight on the right side. And bring your left ankle right on top of your right thigh, just above your knee. Bring both of your hands to your chest and slowly start dropping your hip backwards as if you are coming again to your chair pose. Try to push your left knee away from the body and create a balance here by looking straight ahead. Take some breath here and again we will be slowly releasing our leg downwards and we will come to warrior 3 once again. So bringing your upper body parallel to the ground and gently bring your left leg in line with your back. Your palm still right next to your chest and you are not dropping your chest too low. And if the balancing is difficult, you can always place your hands onto the ground and create a balance. And now slowly start lifting your body straight, bringing your left leg to the front of the body. And now gently hold your left shin with the help of both of your hand interlacing your fingers and try to bring your left knee closer to your chest. Take some deep breaths here and gently release. Now once again, we will come to downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Now come to a plank pose. Your spine is straight here. Now start dropping on your forearm and come to forearm plank. And we started our practice by working on our core. So we will very well end it with the same. So in your forearm plank, your core is engaged and your spine straight. Now we will take some side twists to burn our core and side muscles. This will work amazingly on your love handles as well. So your body is already warmed up. So inhale here and exhale to twist towards your right. Bring the right side of your waist towards the ground. Inhale up once again to forearm plank and exhale to dip on the other side. We will do it 10 on each side and do it at your own pace. You can take a break in forearm plank if you wish to and start again. Just two more here. Now slowly drop your knee down and welcome to child pose. Both of your knees are next to each other. Now let your body rest on your thigh. Both of your palms are backwards, palm facing upwards and let your head rest on the ground. Relax here and appreciate the hard work. We will take just two more breaths here before we come to Shavasana. Slowly lift your body up. 
and bring yourself on your back. Let both of your legs fall apart and your hands right next to your body, palm facing upwards. Adjust your body to bring it to an easy and comfortable lying posture and close your eyes. Relax your body. And enjoy the silence. Let your body rest completely and let not any thought disturb you. Forget everything that can be taken care later and just relax. Now slowly start bringing some motion in your hands and legs. Start wiggling your toes and fingers. Bring both of your legs together and hands overhead. Take a deep stretch here. Inhale and exhale to curl to your right side. And now slowly start lifting your body up, coming to a seated posture. Keep your eyes closed throughout. And bring both of your hands right in front of your chest. Start rubbing your palms against each other. Create some warmth. And now gently place your palms right on top of your eyes. Feel the warmth on your face. And gently give your face a massage. And now very slowly and mindfully, bring both of your palms right in front of your face. And gently open your eyes to look straight into your palms. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this session with me. This practice was really very intense. So if at all you felt the balancing or the core engagement was very difficult for you today, that's completely fine. Just stick along. The asanas and the practice won't get any easier, but your body will turn stronger. And with each passing day, you'll start feeling more comfortable. I hope you enjoyed this session with me. If you did, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also do press the like button and let me know your comments. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you in my next session. Until then, take care of yourself and stay